Hello everybody, now I have made my first episode of the fire truck tutorial series and posted on YouTube. Two and three are currently in progress of being edited and are going to be uploaded soon. But since on the first video I got a lot of questions as to how to get a uh, template to follow for the fire truck. Now you actually have to look online for the specific model of the truck that you're find that you're trying to look for. Um, and now in order to get it onto a block, you have to upload the template picture as a decal to Roblox, which is very simple. Uh, if you want, I can make a tutorial specifically on that. But this is only going to cover how to put that decal on a block and then size it properly. Now, I have a model of my character. If you don't know how to get this, you have to play the game and then copy your character. So I'll show you this. Okay, so I'm currently spawned in behind the fire truck that I'm working on for my fire truck tutorial series. Now, we're going to go into the workspace. And we're going to scroll all the way down until we see the very last uh, version of my character's name. Oh, never mind. It's actually the first. So you're looking for select whichever... If you have multiple characters in here, select whichever one puts a box around your active character that you're playing as in the game. So if you see that blue box around me, that's the one that I'm looking for. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Now I'm not worried about him moving around. That's fine. Then I'm going to stop. Okay. And now we're actually going to have a character. So if I come over here... I'm going to paste it into the workspace, and there is my character. So I'm going to rotate him around 90 degrees so he's facing this way. And I'm going to move him over. So as you can see, now I have an exact replica of my character. So that's a brand new one with uh, my NYPD uniform on. Okay, so we can use these characters as models of a real life person but converted it into Roblox. So we start off with our simple normal block that we've placed down in like if we just click this part button here. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put a decal on the side of it. You can go into your inventory tab and then find the decal and then put it on there that way. All you have to do is go to your inventory click the decal in the box here and then click on the side of the part that you want it. I already have the decal copied uh, from another part so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the block and then I'm going to paste the decal onto the block. Now you'll see that here I can do the exact same thing that I would if I clicked on one of the pictures of the decals in my inventory tab. Just be sure that you're going to the your inventory and then images. Okay, so as you can see, we have a mini version of the fire truck. So now what we're going to do is we're going to scale it to the height. As you can see, we have a mini version of the fire truck. And now what we're going to do is we're going to scale it to the length of the truck. So we're going to go from here back that way. And then we're going to do the height. Now this, this side doesn't exactly matter. Uh, you can make this thin so when you're building the truck you can actually work through it and see uh, how you're doing. So you can actually put the parts through the template block. And you can even make this invisible if you wanted then the decal would still be there. It just gets annoying because then uh, you click on a part and you're clicking on your uh, template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this down to what I think, um, what I think that the length should be. So I'm going to try about there. Now you see that this is kind of distorted. So what I want to do is I want to work both of them at the same time. Now you see that it gets a lot better. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this to about the height that I think that the actual truck would be compared to a person. Okay, and then I'm going to go all the way over to as far as I think I want the cab. And it really depends on how big you want the cab, and you just have to make it scaled, like look at real life references. Now you see this part here, you want the bottom of that line, this line right here where the tire is, you want that to touch the ground. 
remember that if you scale up the height that the line's going to be off so you have to go to the bottom as well so, and there it is and I can I can continue to move this back as much as I want depending on how big that I want the cap And there it is. That's that's pretty good. That's the exact template that I'm using here in uh, this fire truck tutorial series. So for those that don't know how to put decal on block to do the template, now you do. Very simple and easy. It's not that hard to do. You just scale it based on your preferences, how big you think that the cab should be. But at least try and be somewhat realistic with it. Uh, I'd recommend searching the internet for a picture of a person standing next to this, like a firefighter or anybody just taking a random picture next to the fire truck, and using your character as that person in the picture, trying to scale the truck based on that. So there you have it folks, thank you so much for watching this video. Please tune in to my fire truck development videos and go take a look at them out if you want to know how to actually make this template into a 3D model. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you guys in the next video.